Today we're gonna be playing Can You Survive? Five Nights at Freddy's. And this is gonna be based off the movie and nothing else because we actually don't know the plot of all the games because that's a huge plot. And I, I don't wanna play it. I, I I have very serious phobia against dolls and especially humanoid dolls. <laughs> this was one of those rare cases where Elios was actually kind of scared to watch the movie. It finally means I can play some tricks on him. Like the worst part of Squid Game was that red light, green light draw. <laughs> Elios, you and your little brother Timmy are financially burden to pay off a lot of stuff. So you have to work, but you beat up a guy in the mall in front of his kids. Probably deserved it. He did it. So you get fired. Mm -hmm. I need a new job. So you go to the prison. <laughs> I go to prison. I, I beat up a guy and traumatize the child. For some reason, you don't go to prison. Oh, um. so I have friends in the high places. No, I think you just have plot armor up until this point. So you get a new job. Now, this new job doesn't pay much. And it's during the night. So I definitely don't go. I'm I'm a morning bird, guys. Like, I'm I'm never a night owl. Okay, you reject it, but you realize the financial burden is too much, blah, blah, blah. So you get this job. Okay, so you, <laughs> you now work as a security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. I don't want to go there. <laughs> it doesn't pay well. It's a night job. I'm, I'm probably going to sleep through the whole thing. It's an easy job. The animatronics in there sometimes want to have some fun and they might play around, but it's okay. You just got to stay out of their sight. Just close the doors. Everything should be just fine. So these dolls are robotics and they have sentience. Well, they, they are they playful. They like to be uploaded to the internet and become my personal Jarvis's. One of you can go Ultron as long as you don't hurt me. No? As the sun sets, you go to your first shift. The first night. Good night. You, you enter this abandoned, once a fun, active pizzeria, and you go into the security room. Wait, it's a amusement park and a pizza. It's, it's a Chuck E. Cheese. It's a Chuck E. Cheese of this world. So you sit in the security office, and you're listening to a pre-recorded tape. Just keep the doors closed, stay vigilant. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. Now, little did you know, the animatronics have a sinister secret that's about to reveal themselves. Now, as the night progresses, you start to hear eerie sounds of machines clickety clang across the hallway far away what do you do oh you, you can also have a security camera that you can look at also the doors can lock but there's a vent that things can get through if, if you let it so you should keep an eye closer on it well then i barricade the vent lock the doors just just stare at the cameras actually you know what schrodinger suggests if i don't look and turn off the camera as well screw this job. on the camera you see the animatronics kind of moving around aimlessly so they don't know you're here yet okay but they do want to check out the security room why? I don't know. Maybe they just assume somebody's in there. I I wait till they go away and put some distance between me. And I push the cameras and the screens outside of the room. They can look at it all they want. Just don't come in and don't bother me. <laughs> no, they don't care about the cameras. They care about the person in the room. <laughs> I don't think you're understanding correctly. <laughs> I like how this is just all theoretical and you're mortified by the thought. I hate dolls. Oh man, it's one of those rare cases where Elias actually hates what's going on. Usually he tries to make money off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Animatronics, we can make so many things. People would love to come in here and see these people think blah, blah, blah. I thought that's where you're gonna go, but I guess not because it's kind of getting repetitive and I really do like this new side of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually gonna get there eventually. But... <laughs> Okay, uh, they're interested in me because I'm the only anomaly. Something new that's happening in this abandoned. Well, are you new though? How many security guards were here in the past before you? Regardless, in offering the option of becoming an internet overlord, I push a screen outside, play Avengers The Age of Ultron, and offer them that possibility in exchange for my safety. The world can burn, but I will survive. <laughs> As you panic and try to figure out what's going on, you hear an alarm saying it's 6 a.m. Yay! The animatronics go back to their place and you get to go home. Okay. They have established that they are avoiding daylight, right? Actually, see, in the game, that's like that. But in the movie, a couple guys come into the abandoned building during the day to steal stuff. The animatronics absolutely brutally destroy them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Change of plans. <laughs> Do you have a car? Yeah. Okay, I start the car, leave the car running, secure my way out, go approach the dolls, mm -hmm. and give them a good rub and wipe. 
Maybe I can get on their good side. So would you go back the second night? No. Why not? Damn, I need a good reason, which I don't have. Okay, you know what? For better or worse, I think honesty is my best shot. I go to the hiring management, tell them the dolls were moving. They were trying to kill me. Ah, you're just imagining things. It is that night and they are pretty scary, but... Yes, it's a very hazardous work environment where it's making me go crazy. I beat up a guy in front of a child. <laughs> I, I clearly have a mental issue. Are you sure you want me in there? I know where you live. <laughs> what the for better or worse, the protagonist does go back every night. Oh, I, see, I, I miss Nope, where the characters are not dumb. Well, the thing is, a long time ago, one of your siblings was kidnapped and went missing. So you dream about that every night, trying to figure out what happened. But now you're starting to dream about other kids that was around that area too. And you think it's somehow connected to the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics, somehow. Okay, I have a mental issue where it's severe enough for me to get out of control and beat up a guy in front of a child and I trust my own brain? Well, yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know what? If, if I'm that crazy, yeah, I go back to the, the Freddy's. Timmy wants to come along for some reason. Well, he is a very useful extra life. <laughs> Timmy... <laughs> <laughs> Timmy forms an eerie connection with the animatronics. Timmy, do you want to become an ultra? Timmy goes and starts playing with the animatronics. They're dancing. They're listening to what he says. They're really playful. They're really nice towards him. Hey, kids, do you guys want to watch a movie? <laughs> they don't like you, uh, but they tolerate you because of Timmy. Okay. <laughs> You got so sad so fast. <laughs> so, children, hello? Are they even listening to me? Well, as they're playing, Timmy accidentally gets injured. Now, was this an accident or was this some evil plan? I should mind, but I do not mind that you guys play with Timmy because he dies every time. And he will rise again like a phoenix. <laughs> Uh, See, we don't know these dolls well enough to improvise. No, no, that's, uh, the dolls ignore you. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting anywhere, so I'll skip towards the end. Basically, these things happen. These animatronic souls give you an ultimatum. They give you a dream where your family's reunited again. Okay. And they say, in exchange for Timmy, we'll let you continue this dream. When you say you're offering me this virtual reality, do I have control over it? No. No deal then. Well, the protagonist accepts, and then he tries to take it back, and now he has to go fight all the animatronics and you also find out there's one extra animatronic not animatronic at all but a man in a fursuit so old man with the cosplay fetish and it turns out that's your hiring manager <laughs> and he's the one that also abducted your sibling from all those years ago and all these other children he abducted them and then put them inside the animatronics and then killed them so the souls remain there the entire time now this all gets revealed in the final like 20 minutes of the movie and you're just like what okay also matt pat's in the movie Oh, yeah, lovely. Yeah, 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 it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Markiplier was in there. <laughs> so all that gets revealed. Okay. Now you have to figure out somehow to turn these animatronics against the person that they killed. But you don't know how to do that. I don't know how to communicate with them? Yeah. Yes, we do. All I like to do is fall asleep. They talk to me during sleep. I just need to run away, go to bed, enter my dream, explain the situation, and tell them that they had their chance of revenge for countless years and that bloody dude is mine. <laughs> I know where he lives. Hold on. <laughs> So you're gonna kill him. No, he's too strong for you. Something about the suit makes him stronger. Okay, I have a car. <laughs> he has his animatronic vehicle. I use my animatronic vehicle. It's it's a fair game. It is a fair game, yeah. Also, you watched the movie. How do you forget so much? It has been a few months. Perfectly honest, I just pretended I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what's going on and I know how to beat the guy. Yeah, you just, I, I just know. incinerate the whole place. <laughs> just burn it down to the ground. Burn it down. No, actually, get insurance and then burn it down. Um, okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Wait, no, 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 I'm not done. Okay, okay, okay. When I burn the place down. Oh, no, okay. Can you thank you so much for watching. What remains? First of all, why would you burn it down? Well, first, I need to kill the guy. The animatronic suit was protecting him. The only way I can kill the guy is by depriving of oxygen or overheating the body yeah so in the movie basically uh, you convince the other animatronics to kill the guy by drawing him as the villain yeah but um you didn't do that so you actually lost no no, no. that move was stupid <laughs> okay so these children's souls were under his control for countless years there's no way these haunting souls just suddenly trust the random kid that they befriend over their guardian like if timmy comes up and say yo daddy is a bad man they would antagonize timmy why would they listen to timmy they don't know him so you're saying that you know better than the protagonists. And in most cases, I do know better than most protagonists. You have to admit. That's because you don't care about the plot. You do it for profit. Insurance scams. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Wait, wait, I'm not done exploiting them. Wait. <laughs> you are. Wait. Bye.